Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, had a secret obsession. While he was revolutionizing communication, he was also exploring the world of aerodynamics. In a series of captivating photographs, we get a glimpse into Bell's fascinating experiments with tetrahedral kites. These kites, built between 1902 and 1912, were unlike anything the world had ever seen. Bell was drawn to the tetrahedral structure, with its pyramid-shaped cells that could share joints and reduce weight. His goal was to create a kite large enough to carry a man, and he was determined to make it happen. To achieve this, Bell designed a unique box kite that combined several triangular kites together with a frame. This innovative design increased the kite's surface area without adding much weight, resulting in improved flight capability. The kite was made up of large pyramidal structures with three triangular sides and a triangular base. This geometric marvel, known as a tetrahedron, is one of nature's most stable structures. Despite its complex appearance, flying a tetrahedral kite is surprisingly manageable. Bell's fascination with the tetrahedron extended beyond kites. He incorporated this three-dimensional structure into construction projects, including a tower on his property in Cape Breton, Canada. But Bell's kite experiments didn't end there. He joined forces with a talented group of individuals known as the Aerial Experiment Association. Together, they pushed the boundaries of early flight and made significant advancements. In 1907, Bell built his largest tetrahedral kite, named the Signet. This magnificent creation consisted of over 3,393 cells and measured 40 feet in length. It even successfully flew with a human passenger, reaching a height of 168 feet above the water. However, tragedy struck when the Signet crashed upon landing, resulting in the death of the passenger. Despite this setback, Bell believed that the kite had fulfilled its purpose. He saw it as a demonstration of the tetrahedral system's potential for aerial locomotion. Undeterred by the challenges, Bell continued his experiments. He even explored a large circular, tetrahedral truss design, but it didn't achieve the desired success. In the end, the growing popularity of airplanes and waning interest in kites led Bell to abandon his kite experiments in 1912. Today, some of Bell's remarkable kites can be seen at the Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site. These kites are a testament to Bell's relentless pursuit of innovation and his unwavering curiosity. Join us as we delve into the world of Alexander Graham Bell's bizarre tetrahedral kites and uncover the untold stories behind these extraordinary creations.